threw it over 700 meters. <laughs> Picking up right where we left off. Finally showing us his true power. His finger appears She's so nice. broken now. Just like in the exam. He's so, so analytical. Very odd. It wasn't a very pretty throw. He's so French. <laughs> He's up to something. Why does it bother you, dude? Deku, you bastard! Tell me <laughs> Overreacting much? Why the hell is you got toilet papered. Scarf? scarf! Okay. It'd be wise to avoid making me use my quirk so much. It gives me serious dry eye. Too bad! I thought he was a stoner. Shota, hell yeah! The man himself. The quirk of anyone he looks at, but the effect ends when he blinks. Oh. But why does it bother him this much? Until the exam, he was nothing. A little bug I could crush if I wanted to. It seems like he's threatened. What does it mean to him? Just an annoying bug that I can smash into the ground. Episode six: Rage, you damn nerd. <laughs> what a title! I've ranked you all from best to worst. You should probably have a good idea of your standing already. I'll just pull up the whole list. It's not worth going. That dude is just straight up a bird. Score. Can I squeak by on that score alone? I bombed the rest of the challenges. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? And can he really expel people? I'm skeptical. I'm in last place. Right. I failed. Well, that's the end of the show. It's been fun. And I was lying. No one's going home. Yeah, of course not. It's school. That was just a rational deception to make sure you gave it your all in the tests. Rational deception, huh? Aizawa, that was a rotten move. All Might, so you were watching. No talk shows today? They have history. They go back. You have no problem kicking students out. Anyone you deem unworthy. You were planning to send last place home. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it a little early for you to be playing favorites? It's cruel to let a kid keep dreaming of something that will never come true. In your own strange way, you're a kind man, Aizawa. <laughs> I know that. But clearly, we are going to have us a problem. Hmm. I love that All Might has Deku's back like that. He really is like a like a guardian in a way. But I feel like there is some potential for, for weirdness there. Like, when it comes to training, that's one thing, right? That's their private relationship. But when it comes to school, it's a little weird for Deku to have that kind of backing. I don't know. I feel like there actually is something to Aizawa's methods. Maybe his thinking about it is a little bit too binary, like potential or no potential. I mean, really, you don't really know. And it's good to give people the chance to prove themselves, which I guess he is allowing for. That being said, I think I like something about his approach. I like the no-nonsense sense element of it. I like that he doesn't give people a free pass. You know, I think that's something that I wasn't told growing up. Like, I think the message I was given a lot was that just by virtue of my birth, I was amazing. We're all told that we're unique and special and all this stuff, right? And I think that comes from a good place. It comes from a place of trying to give us self-esteem. But I think in a way, there's a there's a downside of that too, which, th which is that it robs us of something that can give meaning in our lives, which is proving ourselves to ourselves, you know, having to earn things. I think having both simultaneously is good, right? Like having a certain belief in your worth, but also recognizing that maybe that worth exists as potential and that potential has to be met. And in that way, I think it's important to have these challenges and it's important to need to prove yourself. That's actually a gift in a way. Passing through those challenges to the other side is one of the things I think that gives a feeling of meaning and connectedness to life. So for this class, knowing there are stakes and knowing that Aizawa is going to be hard on them will push them and might actually give them a great education. It might make them more prepared and, you know, more self-reliant and all this stuff. And All Might also will do that for Deku too, but I feel like the school element of him risks being a little bit coddling in that way, if that makes sense. Although I have no idea how it'll play out. But I think Aizawa does care. He I'm does so want the students to succeed. Hey there, Ida. How's the broken finger Ida. Doing? Oh, I hear it now. I learned that Scar's voice, which is crazy. Such a different role. I suddenly feel really tired. And I think this young lady is Pinako. My quirk stimulates your ability to heal, but healing takes energy. I was a bit concerned by Mr. Aizawa's approach to class, but I trust the school's judgment. The <laughs> way is the top program. Even so, lying is downright immoral. I thought he was scary, but that's not it. He's just really serious about school. He's very intense, yeah. It's her again. Oh, you're the infinity girl. <laughs> Cool, making friends. Uraraka. My name's actually Izuku. No, nah, it's too late. Calls me to make you can't choose your nickname. Sportsmanlike. Oh, I didn't realize that. I'm sorry. But you know what? I like Deku. Yeah, we're already that there. Cute. Deku, it is. Like <laughs> Weren't you saying that it was an insult? Not coming from Uraraka. I survived my first day at UA. Wasn't all bad. Now, which of these four sentences contains a mistake? 
So boring. That's really. Is this sucks. English class? <laughs> hey everybody, look alive! Grammar rules. Wait, what? I got it. Oh, hold on. I'm annoyed that I don't know this answer immediately. <laughs> Which sentence contains the mistake? <laughs> this is hard. How do you expect? These students to get this, I don't know. There's a couple things that are weird. I well remember the day on which we both met. That doesn't sound good, but please tell me that all you know. That's not... Man, whom I respect. Not me, former English teacher, <laughs> struggling with this question. <laughs> Trick question. Jerk teacher. We eat lunch in the main cafeteria, where we can buy pretty tasty stuff on the cheap. White rice is the perfect comfort food, isn't it? <laughs> this is super good. Man, they're so lucky to have good food at school. <laughs> His entrances are always perfect. But one of the keys of being a hero is looking good. for you based on your quirk Oh nice, we can see their their outfits. What a day. All Might really brings the energy. Heroes in training. Where's Deku? <laughs> it's getting me ramped up too. Still not seeing Deku. Do they pay tuition? I need to go to City Hall today and get my registration form for the clothing allowance. Interesting time for a flashback. Look, just march in there and do what you want to do. Crap, I hung up on all my- Oof. Congratulations! I'm so proud you got into UA! Is that a costume? Looks like a tracksuit. I've been feeling really terrible lately about something I said to you. I think you might have felt that I gave up on you a while back. But now look at you. You persevered and kept chasing your dream like a real champion. I'll support you with everything I've got from now on. Nice. When the kid inspires the parent, it's a good feeling. I'm almost definitely reading too much into this, but I felt like in that scene when she said, I'm so sorry, Deku, that it was partly because she felt guilty about something. I don't know. There's something still not quite right about, about Deku. I feel like he might have another power, another quirk. It's a gift from my mom. So of course it's what I'm going to wear. This is it. My hero costume. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, Deku. Uraraka. Love your costume. Interesting. Reminds me of Donnie Darko. This bodysuit is skin tight. Not really my style. All right. <laughs> I love this school. That guy just looked at me. You're so obvious. I didn't get it. It's not that obvious. But remember, you can't just punch a robot this time. You're dealing with actual people now. Sir, will you be the one deciding who wins? How much can we hurt the other team? Oh god. That question. Is Miss Kate crazy? <laughs> What'd he say? <laughs> Likewise, the bad guys succeed if they protect their payload or capture the hero. I like how it's an RPG screen. Sounds like a classic action movie setup. Yeah, the, the premises of these fights are, are great. These action scenes. Let's draw! Hmm. Interesting team there. That outfit looks highly impractical. I like how All Might has that in common with the, the other teacher. Just throwing them right into the battle. Wow, what are the chances? We're a team! What are the chances? Oh gosh, I have to make a good impression on her! I feel like Shorty, you know, already kind of likes you. I'm waiting for the backstory between these two. The key to being successful in this challenge is to embody villainy. Think from the perspective of an evildoer. I don't think you'll have much trouble with that right now. Even though this is training, it pains me to be aligned with criminal behavior. <laughs> so this is the weapon we must This guy's funny. Fake, of course. Ida, he initially was kind of grating, but like, I'm pretty sure he's gonna grow on me. He's already growing on me. He just has qualities that make him very easy to be misunderstood. He's probably a very decent guy, but he's so intense and also very opinionated. And I feel like people like him often get into trouble socially because other people take their way of processing things and talking about their ideas as an attack when really there might not be any negative feeling behind it at all. It's just, you know, just an expression of, of one's thought. And someone like Ida might also get into trouble because they might miss the emotional subtleties behind the the conversation and focus too strongly on the, the information itself. Do you really think Deku has a quirk? Hmm? You saw how he threw that ball. Though I think his power hurts his body. <laughs> Why is it that you seem <laughs> to be especially angry when it comes to Midoriya? Yeah, that's my question too. What happened? Bakugo, he's the one who's always making fun of you. Very observant. He's amazing. All into four Aww, all that's all so nice. And be the richest hero of all time! That hurts. That sucks that he, he actually loves Bakugo as a friend. Young Midoriya, in this class you're just another student. Good, good. You as I would anyone else that's a, that's favorites. good. I was kind of worried about that. 
What's the matter, Deku? Afraid to stand up and fight me? He's doing a great job as the villain. Impossible! How do you know? He's not that good! Wow. All that garbage training really paid off. <laughs> you always use a big right hook to start a fight. I know, because I've watched you for years. I've watched that hook fly right into my face. <laughs> time and time again. You can call me Deku, but I'm not the same helpless, defenseless kid anymore. You hear me? Oof. From now on, Deku is the name of a hero! <laughs> Good, because I'm already calling him Deku and I'm not changing it. Because <laughs> you want to fight me anyway. That's why I hate you! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what did he say? He's saying Deku wants to fight him anyway, and that's why he hates him. There must be some backstory there. You can tell they love each other, though. They go way back. It seems like they were friends initially. I'm guessing that for Bakugo, the only reason he feels that strongly about Deku is because he actually respects him. Deku probably has something he feels he lacks, and that's going to be devastating to someone like him who is trying so hard to believe he's the best, and also who is told by the world a lot that he's the best. Like, everybody he meets praises him. That's what made that scene extra painful when, when Deku saved him from the slime thing. There was that contrast of, like, his personal shame at being rescued, versus what all the superheroes were saying about him like they were praising him and saying like call my agent or whatever so deku must have something that he values highly and doesn't know how to get or, or feels incapable of getting and it seems like it goes both ways to an extent at least in terms of that respect deku obviously greatly admires bakugo he has something that deku always wanted and never had until very recently and even now bakugo's powers are way more developed but that's perfect right like that's a, that's a great recipe for a friendship if they just like can turn it around which I'm sure will happen. They're gonna be great allies one day, I'm sure, once they work through whatever this is. That's kind of the great thing about rivals or even enemies, you know, like the things that get to you or get under your skin are things that are important. You know, like people who are not on your radar or don't have things that you value or that threaten you or whatever it is, will not create that kind of emotional reaction. They're just sort of there, they're neutral. Just the fact of someone being a rival or an enemy means there's something important about them for, for you. So when it goes well, it becomes a mutually beneficial relationship where you know the two people help each other grow and support each other's weaknesses or whatever so this is part one of what i guess is a two-parter or more maybe but i gotta say i'm loving the pace of the show so far these early episodes like this is only episode six but we've done so much we've gone from like nothing to full-on school battles and a ton of heart every step of the way in between i'm hoping that this little arc these few episodes will explore that a little bit more that relationship between the two kids the two boys and hopefully that goes somewhere good i'm also i really want to see more of aizawa i really like him he was only in the episode you know just to kind of recap the the previous one so that's the end of episode six i'll see you next time in episode seven where deku and bakugo kiss and make up